Extracting data from the web can be a slow process. If you've ever written a web scraper where you've had to sit back and wait for five minutes, you'll know what I mean. Let's say we have a thousand URLs and we want just a single piece of data back from each one. Well, we'd have to import the list and then loop through each one, sending a request off each time. Not only do we have to do it one by one, but we also have to wait for the server to respond and then pass its response. There's a lot of time where our script is just sat around doing nothing. In this video, I'm going to show you a way that I've used to speed that all up. And I'm going to take a script that's got a thousand URLs from about a minute and a half down to 15 to 20 seconds to run. Hi everyone and welcome, my name's John. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Loads of web scraping content already and more to come. So the library I'm talking about is called Concurrent Futures. It's in the standard Python library. Uh, it's really simple to use. Basically there are two main classes. The first one is the executor class and this manages all the threads and the workload. And the second class is called the futures class and this kind of creates a little instance and then manages the data coming back. So all we need to do is add two lines of code and a context manager and we can reduce that time down drastically. Um, so let's have a look at the code that I've written. I'll run through this real quick and then I'll show you how quickly, how quickly we can do things with and without. So what I've got here is I've got booklinks.csv. This is off the Books to Scrape website. This is all of the books, all the, a link to all of the books on there and there are 1,000 links. To do this normally we might do, uh, we're going to use Request and Beautiful Soup and we're going to import the uh, data from the CSV here and we're going to create, with this we're going to create a URLs list of a thousand URLs. And then in our transform function we're going to do request.get and we are going to go out with Beautiful Soup and we're just going to return the title and then we're going to append the title to the titles list and we're going to print the length of the titles at the end and then we're going to create a data frame and we're going to export it to CSV. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to turn this a thousand long list of links into, uh, we're going to go out and get the, send the, ask for the information, get back and we're just going to turn it into titles. Not particularly imaginative or useful, but it's more about the process and the principle of what we can do as opposed to the outcome in this respect. All of my code will be on GitHub down below if you want to try this for yourself. I'm not going to run through a code by code on this one because this is more of a how you can apply this to your scripts to make them run quicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my terminal up and if you're using a Linux terminal you can just use time and then run Python and then the um, Python file. So I'm going to let this run and it will give me a output at the end of how long it took to complete. Now that's finished. Uh, we can see that we ran this in 1 minute 34 and it says a total of 16% CPU usage. Now that was a thousand links, 1 minute 34, it's not too bad but uh, seeing as we were only going and getting one piece of information that's quite slow. So let's have a look at the same code but with just the extra thing added in. So we're importing concurrent futures. Uh, and then down here, instead of our for loop, so we've got for loop for URL and URLs, transform, which is our function here. I've got the same function, but we're using our context manager with concurrent futures dot thread pool executor as the executor, and that was the class that I mentioned earlier, executor dot map, transform, and then URL. So, so it's important when you're doing this that your uh, function comes first, but you don't pass in any information like you would do normally like here for example we go transform and then URL but in this case we do transform and then give it our list so what this is going to do is it's going to maximize our CPU as we'll see when I run the time on this one and it's going to send out all of the requests much quicker uh, and it's going to hold all that information for us make it work as efficiently as possible and then give us the results at the end as well so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run this so again we do time Python 3 and then this one is concurrent scraper so let's run that and we can already see that the text is going by much much quicker than it did before and hopefully we will get our completed result in just a second so there we have it so now we can see if we compare the two this one was uh, 1 minute 34 16% CPU this one says 111% CPU which isn't possible or well it didn't make my computer explode so we'll not pay too much attention to that at the moment but we can see it we did it in 15 seconds so that's a huge reduction in time that is so much faster for what is essentially doing a simple task so it's important to know that this approach will only work 
uh, will only speed certain things up. Um, so for example, that I've used getting information from lots and lots of URLs, that's a good place to use this. Um, if you're just doing your normal web scraping and you're doing maybe only a few pages or you're more heavy on the parsing as opposed to the actual requesting, it's probably not going to speed it up as much, but it might be worth trying it. Uh, so what I would suggest is if you've got some scripts work that you have already that might benefit from this, give it a go. Um, use the time thing. Bear in mind that only works in the Linux terminal, but I'm on Windows and I'm using the WSL2. Uh, you guys can use that as well. It's nice and easy to set up. So let me know in the comments below if you've used this before or if you've tried it on one of your scripts and it's speeded it up. Uh, let me know the data and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, subscribe for more web scraping content. F main videos on Sundays, extra videos now on Wednesdays and also some live coding thrown in on Thursdays uh, if I can. So thank you very much for watching guys and see you next time. Bye.